Joining me now, he's a small town guy with a big time book. I'm joined with an old high school buddy of mine and author of his new book called The Golden Chord. Beatty High School class of 1992, Paul Jeunesse. Paul, it's good to see you again. Paul and I went to high school back in the uh, late 80s, early 90s. And before we get into uh, this book, the one that you're here to plug, I want to get into uh, this book, which is our uh, yearbook from the class of 1990s, circa Beatty High School. Um, we showed some of my yearbook pictures earlier. Let's go ahead and pop them up so everybody can get one last good laugh. Monica, there you go. Uh oh. <laughs> there we go. That's what Dave Hall looked like back in 1990. Are you kidding mustache me? Mustache and a nasty looking t shirt. Dave! <laughs> Now I understand Tina's long reign. <laughs> oh, my Lord. Monica's mortified. Now let's move on to Paul. Now Paul looked a little more normal back in the day. There's Paul. <laughs> rocking the old Beatty High School jersey. I think what, you were a point guard, right, Paul? Yeah. Back in high school. So Paul looks pretty much the same now. What, now you had a mullet as a freshman, though, right? Yes, I yeah, did. Yeah. You, I you have to admit. Yeah. Because it was cool. We all wanted to imitate you, Dave. Oh, sure. Yeah, sure, sure. Yeah. All right. Well, let's talk about, um, about this book called The Golden Cord. What's this book about? Well, The Golden Cord, book one of the Iron Dragon series, uh, it's a traditional fantasy. Um, the description of the book is, <laughs> the, the Dragon King rises, and a hunter must leave behind the woman he loves. Give up all hope of survival, as he's forced to guide his most hated enemies on a suicidal journey to the lair of the Dragon King. Wow. Mm. Now, were you a theater major in college? I mean, what's yeah. going on there? Yeah, actually, um, I am a registered nurse. I work in a cardiac right. unit in Salt Lake City. I've done that for about 12 years, and I love being a nurse. I'm never going to quit being a nurse. So even now, even now, you're a published author, which, by the way, I was asking you, you know, it's extremely difficult to get a book published. I'm really proud of you. I, I really am, all jokes aside. You said one in one, every 100,000 of books that are written actually gets published. Is that yeah, right? Yeah, it's extremely difficult to get published. For me, this has been about an eight-year journey. Wow. And I've just had to become a much better writer, and it's a process. Mm -hmm. And finally... Finally, after you know lots and lots of struggle, right. I got somebody to say yes, and now I've sold nine short stories in the book series, and life is really good. Yeah, these kinds of books are very popular, especially coming off movies like The Lord of the Rings, which is kind of what this sounds like—you know, the fantasy, right. you know, sword fighting, that sort of thing, right? Exactly. Yeah, it's in the tradition of like Anne McCaffrey's Dragon Riders of Pern books or Lord of the Rings. Um, Terry Brooks—he's one of my authors that I really love. So. Do you ever sit and think back, wow, I've gone from, uh, you know, little old Beatty, Nevada, a population of about 500 people to a published author? I mean, that's a pretty great accomplishment. Well, you know, Beatty's this little tiny town in the middle of nowhere. Right. Most people don't even know anything about Beatty, Yes, probably. it's about two hours north of Vegas, yeah. um, right by Death Valley. So, actually, Beatty <laughs> was fun to live in for some reasons, but other reasons, not so much. But we had opportunities there that yeah. we may not have had in other places. Very true. All right, I know you're going to be uh, doing some tours around elementary schools here, here in Las Vegas, so uh, plug where you're going to be today. Yeah, I'm going to be at Bob Miller uh, Middle School a little bit later. It's going to be a lot of fun speaking to the kids. And then later I'm going to be at my old elementary elementary school. I actually went to elementary school at George E. Harris, home of the Tigers. Go nice, Tigers. Nice. Um, went there for about five years, and I'm going to be speaking there to the kids, and I can't wait. I've been going across the West. I've been to four states in the West. I did the East Coast thing, the New York thing a little while right. ago. And it's been great. I've talked to so many great kids, and I have to tell you guys, I have hope for the future. Because <laughs> I've met the greatest kids and it's, it's been wonderful. Excellent. Real quick, where can people get the book? Um, today, Barnes & Noble, uh, Barnes and Noble um, on, at Summerlin, so Fort Apache and Charleston from 4 to 6. Okay. I'll be there signing books. Please swing by. I'll give you some free stuff. We'll hang out. All right. Go say hi to Paul and make fun of uh, me and my terrible mullet. All right, Paul, thanks for uh, joining <laughs> us this morning. Monica, back to you. Monica, that, yeah. oh. uh, that, that, back to you. Still in shock. <laughs> Still in shock. Dave, but you're brave. I give you kudos. You're brave. <laughs> you. Wow.